Hello, I'm Warren Martin. This is Face Today, and here we are on Tuesday. We're talking about choices, and today we want to talk about focusing on the truth. And what is the truth about choices? Well, the truth about choices is, is that it is the one thing that separates us from every other creature that is on this earth. In fact, if you go back in the Bible to the very beginning, Adam and Eve had a choice. And throughout the Bible, from the beginning to the end, from Genesis to Revelation, the one thing that's never taken away from mankind is the ability to choose. We are creatures whom God has entrusted with the ability to choose. So let me ask you, what choices are you making? Sometimes it's not just that we need to make a choice, but we really need to make a decision. And the decision that we need to make is really tied to the word. The word decision comes from the same as the word for incision. And incision means to cut into, and a decision means to cut away. And really, that's what a lot of us need to do. A lot of times we make choices, but we keep our options open to where we re-choose and we choose again and we make a different choice the next day, when what we really need to do is make a decision to cut off all other options and to firmly grab hold of what we are choosing, to make a decision and cut away all other options and choose to be who God created us to be. In fact, it was uh, Moses who said, Today I've set before you blessings and cursings, life or death, therefore choose life. Joshua said, um, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve. Jesus said, Come, follow me. And we are left with the choice. So let me ask you, what choices are you making? And what choices are you going to make today? What decisions do you need to make? What options do you need to eliminate from your life to grab hold of who God created you to be? The only way that you're going to become who God created you to be is if you make that decision. And here's the truth about the lost choice. If you do not actively choose who you are in this world, the world will choose who it wants you to be. And you won't like it. I promise you that. We have to choose to be who God created us to be or we'll never experience life as we were meant to live. And when we do make that choice and we embrace it, well, then we're able to face today.